Hi guys, this is Steve Darcy with Go Engineer. Today we're going to take a look at uh, moving files from Katia V5 into SolidWorks Premium. So here I have a Katia assembly, a CAT product, and I'm just going to open up one of the part files. And if I expand the part body, you'll see my pads and pockets. And if I go underneath my geo set, you'll see I've got some extrudes on some surfaces, so I'll go ahead and show those. And it's all a completely parametric part. Pretty cool. All right, let's hide one of those. And we'll collapse everything back up. And we'll go back up to the assembly level, which we'll is close out of the part. And let's go ahead and hide that one too. So that's the part and assembly that we're going to be working with in Katia. So we'll start out using 3D Interconnect to open up the Katia files and bring them into SolidWorks. SolidWorks Interconnect creates a link to the original assembly and parts. And you'll notice in the feature tree, it'll have a little green arrow telling you that the information is coming directly from another file. So let's see this in action. If we go into SolidWorks and we go into our options, you can see Enable 3D Interconnect is already selected. And we do have additional settings for the file formats that we can link to. So let's go ahead and say OK. And then we'll open up our Katia assembly file, our CAT product. And make sure that you uncheck Include PMI. PMI will automatically do an import and convert the files to SolidWorks. It will keep it from doing the link. So I'll select my assembly template and then it's open. You can see we get the little green arrow on our icon for our assembly and our individual parts. And if we expand out our part file, you can see I've got surface bodies and solid bodies. So we can hide and show those if needed. And make sure you save it. And this is just gonna be saved as a typical assembly that is pointing to the references to the Katia part and assemblies. All right, so now let's go into Katia, and we're gonna open up just this individual part file. So we'll pick open in new window, and let's rotate around a little bit, and I'm gonna sketch on the top face, so I'm gonna start a new sketch, and let's rotate around just a little bit. I wanna put some holes in here, so I'm gonna double click on the circle command, and we'll put two holes in, or two circles, and let's go ahead and put a quick little constraint on there, we'll make sure that they're equal. So right click equal and then we'll exit out of the sketch and we'll go into the pocket command and make sure that it's going all the way through the part so it's up to last. So that looks pretty good. Last thing we need to do is we'll go back to the assembly and we'll save it back to the hard drive. So we'll save all. Once those are saved, uh, then we can go back into SolidWorks. If I open up the files, then SolidWorks will automatically read those from the hard drive. But if I hit rebuild, you'll notice that, uh, let's go down just a little bit further, you'll see the little recycling symbol. This tells me that that part needs an update on it. So I'll have to right click, say update the model. That tells it to go back to the cat part and update. So you'll see we'll read in that file. And now you see we've got the holes in that. So pretty cool. All right, so next we'll just go into the standard import. So we're gonna go into our options again, go into the import, and we're gonna uncheck enable 3D interconnect and hit okay. And something I should have mentioned before is typically you do have to close out of SolidWorks and then get back into SolidWorks for that setting to be set. All right, so now that the setting's correct, we can just say open and we'll go select on our Katia product, and I'm going to go ahead and check PMI. Whether or not I do, it's still going to do the import. Uh, we're not going to have a link to the actual Katia part file. So now that the assembly is open, you can see it's just a typical SolidWorks assembly with just part files. If I look into the part file, you can see that I've got an imported solid body. Uh, let's go ahead and open it in position. And it also includes the surfaces. So we can go ahead and select those and we'll turn those off. And let's go ahead and rotate around just like we did in the Katia part and we'll start a new sketch. We'll draw some circles. 
I'll go into select mode, just select the two circles, make them equal, just go right into extrude cut, and just say through all. Hit OK. And now we've got our holes in there. So of course, once we have our holes in there, we can go back to the assembly and everything looks up to date. And don't forget to hit the save button. So those are your two different ways to bring your CATIA files into SOLIDWORKS, either using 3D interconnect or just using the standard import. And depending on what your application is will depend on whether you need one or the other. So hope this helps. This is Steve Darcy with Go Engineer.